Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. Having understood surjective and injective function, let's understand the bijective function. Bijective functions are functions that are both 101 and onto functions. Functions that are both 101 and onto functions are called bijective functions. As I have already told, a function can be classified as is it will be either 101 or many one. Also, it will be either onto or non-onto. So you'll have so many combinations. Function can be 101 onto, 101 not onto, many one onto, many one not onto. But we are interested in only in this part because this has a critical part here. Why critical? I'll tell you. Because if the function is both 101 and onto, it is invertible. I'll, I'll explain all those things in the future slides. But this is one speciality and that is why we are trying to study this section. We, we are not studying functions which are 101 and non-onto or many 1 and onto because those functions are not having any special character. But the functions which are 101 and onto are invertible. Logically also it makes sense because if you see it is a function and that is 101 that is only there is one mapping and also there is onto that is there is no off element you can flip it you can flip it right so this will become a b c d and this will become 1 2 3 4 since there is a mapping for all a goes to 3 b goes to 1 c goes to 2 and d goes to 4 so this is the mapping here it is invertible you see we have inverted this function if the function is non onto we will have some orphan element that will come here for example this is orphan element here it will come here and there is no definition here so it is not invertible also if there are two elements pointing to same element here there is not that is many one in that case also you can't invert so in that case it will be two values giving i mean one value giving two output that is not possible for example one function will have only one output one input will have only one output. One input can't have two output. That is not possible. Logically also if you see I told the example of policeman right. So policeman is a function and then policeman uh, will uh, the moment policeman gets a thief he will catch. He get a decent person he will leave. So it, it can't be that the policeman gets a thief he will sometimes catch and sometimes leave. That is if that is the case he is not a function. Function is the one for every input it will give single output only. It can't give two output for a given input. Same thing for example your dad. So your dad is a function and you for example you get a bad score. You get scolding. You get good score. You get chocolates. Right. This is one function we discussed. So, if you get good score, you, your dad won't give you chocolates and your you dad sometimes won't scold you. If that is the case, your dad is on a function. But generally, in case of function, for a given input, you'll have only one output. So, if, if it is a good score, if it is a good score, it is chocolate. If it is a bad score, it is scolding only. So, here also, function, just remember that one input can't give a multiple output. So, you can never have a function like this where you have like this. And let's suppose you have values uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and here you have A, B, C, D. For 1 you get output as A and for 1 you get output as B also. This is not possible, not possible because for one number you will get only one output. This is possible where if you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and you have A, B, C, D. For 1 you are getting A, for 2 also you are getting A. That is possible. For two scenarios you are getting same output that is possible but for one input you can't get multiple output that is not possible for a function. Logically also if you see if, the, if, the, if it is a good score you can't get chocolates and scolding both but if it is a good score you get let's suppose chocolates if it is an average score you get chocolates if it is a bad score you get let's suppose scold that is possible for both good and average score you are getting chocolates that is possible correct. So that is the basic principle of function. For one input, you can't have multiple output. Okay, the moment it is many one function, if you invert it, if you invert this function, this will become something like this, and that will not be a function altogether. So that is the 
only reason why we are studying 101 onto function because it has a speciality that is the function that is both 101 and onto is invertible. So function x and y is said to be 101 and onto if it is both 101 and onto. So till now what we have studied, let's revise. First thing is the function that is 101. It is called injective also. Why it is called injective also? We have seen that for every every hole there is only one injection. For every hole there is only one injection. It's called injective. Then we have seen function that is many to one. That is non-injective. Why non-injective? Because for one hole, for one hole there are two entries. So that is non-injective. These are one classification. Then we have seen onto. Onto is called surjective. Surjective from surjective I got the word sir. Sir means lord. If lord is there, there is no orphan. So if there is no orphan child, for example, in this case, there is no orphan child here, A, B, C, D only, it is onto. Then there is something called non-onto. Non-onto is non-surjective. If you see this non-surjective, that means if the sir is not there, non-surjective means sir is not there, lord is not there, that means there are some orphan child. For example, in this case, E is orphan child. If you add E extra here, F if you add, if you add G extra here, these are all orphan child. So the same function will become non-onto function. So again, function will be classified in this bucket also. 101 or many one, onto and non-onto. Also, we saw that if the function is 101 and onto both, then it has a special meaning that is that function is invertical, invertible and that is why we are studying that kind of function and that kind of function is called bijective. Now, memory to remember bi means two. So if it has two special property, it is bijective. And what are two special property? 101 and onto because we know that other combinations doesn't make sense. 101 non onto or many one onto or you know, many one onto, onto or non onto doesn't make any sense. The only property, the only two special property, combination of which makes sense is 101 and onto, and that is called bijective. So from the word, if you can make out bijective means two special property, and two special property we are talking about is 101 and onto only. Again, this is also just a memory tip to remember. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.